21 lutego, niedziela i zbliżamy się do Kostaryki. Oto towarzyszące nam dwa holowniki. Pablo, jeden i tu zaraz obok Don Jorge. Będą nam towarzyszyć i prowadzić nas aż do portu. Zresztą bardzo blisko już jesteśmy w porcie. No. Tu najprawdopodobniej będziemy sumować. Więc to jest Limon. A miejscowość i port w Kostaryce, gdzie zaczną się nasze następne atrakcje. A mianowicie najważniejsza wyjazd do puszczy tropikalnej, oddalonej jakieś dwie godziny drogi stąd. Costa Rica znaczy po hiszpańsku bogate wybrzeże. My name is Roy Batista and we have somewhere sitting down there Mr. Orlando who's going to be our driver. So we both are going to do our best just for you to have a good experience today in our country. A good thing is that today is Sunday so there won't be like that many cars over there because in, in weekdays it's, a, it's more difficult. In weekdays it's very but very difficult because we're going to be today in the Caribbean side and in here in these areas where we produce the 100% of bananas that we produce in Costa Rica, we produce them in here. So mo normally in the afternoons you will see many trucks come into these areas. We're going to see actually that pier, the port of Moin. That's where all the cargo chips get to get all the bananas, pineapple, well, and many other things that we produce. Okay, friends, as I said before, my name is Carlos. You guy here, any question, have it to me, let me know, please, okay? 
we were having a very short time taking the short walk. That's too bad that you are having a reduced, a very small time here, but it could be nice to be taking a longer time there taking the chore or taking the walk inside the forest. Any question having to me why you enjoy this tour please let me know as I said before alright. I have a very special question to you first. Have you been before in a rainforest or is your first time? Never. Never before. Hawaii. Hawaii? Oh. Any other place? Alaska. Alaska. Okay. Hello friends. Hello. Well thank you for your answer. Uh, I was asking you, you have been before in a rainforest, maybe to have an idea about some special <coughs> subject that I can be talking about. You say Hawaii, that is totally true. Just right here in the continent, you are traveling between the United, uh, excuse me, between the south side of Mexico to the north side of Brazil. All of these group of countries are having rainforests. But this group of rainforests are called neotropical rainforests. But you go outside of the continent to some other countries located in the same equatorial line, the other ones are having rainforests. Physically, it can be too similar, but the ones are not neotropical rainforests, are tropical rainforests. For here, most of the humidity, the amount of humidity that we are having here most of the time is over 80 90 percent. Sometimes we feel so hot, but it's not mainly because of the temperature, it's mainly because of the humidity. Even the media temperature that we are having here most of the time can be 90, 100 <coughs> Fahrenheit degree around there. It's not too, too hot. It's not a hot temperature. Hello. It's not a high temperature compared to some places in the United States and Canada and some other countries, but the temperature can be over 110, 120 Fahrenheit degrees, right? So to be having 80, 90 Fahrenheit degrees is very fresh here. Okay, I understand. <laughs> no. So here we are. We can be having opportunity to see different species of animals sometimes. Some of the animals that we can be having opportunity to see here sometimes can be war uh, monkeys. Even here in Costa Rica, we are having four species of monkeys, and there are t three species of monkeys that are easy to see sometimes here. Those are the the spiderback monkey. Our source of energy here are the hydroelectric plants, the thermoelectrical plants using the volcanoes and the eolic energy. Look at the pump here to the left side. Well, you don't see the root of the one, but you remember the thick hard pump that you saw before? This is a thick hard pump, the one here to your left side. But look at how easy it is to me to move the entire pump. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Looking back to me, look at how easy. It's to move the entire pond. <laughs> wow. A big percentage of the ponds, trees, etc. is mainly at the top of the forest. What is this tree? This is a tree belonging to a group of plants called Cicropiaceae. The one right here. There is a tree called... Oh, do you remember the, the, the tree that I touched? Remember the Puruma tree? The one that I say to you that can be used as a medicine? Well, that tree is belowing to the same group of plants that the tree here to our right is belowing to. In a few minutes you are going to be having another view of the one. Well, I show you the butter palm too. Here to your right you can have another view of the butter palm. It's easy to identify these palms mainly by the leaf, totally opposite compared to the, the the first technique that we were using at the beginning to identify the palm that was using the characteristic of the root. Had you eaten before the hearts of palm, friends? Yes. Do you like? Yes. Do you know where it's coming inside of the palm? No. Okay, look at here to your right. We are having a butter palm. But look at the top oh, of this the palm, yeah. where the green area is located. Uh -huh. This right at the top inside of that area is the place where we are having the hearts of palm where we can obtain the hearts of palm. So, when you are eating hearts of palm, what you really are eating are the new leaf of the palm. Coming from the sweetheart palm or the butter palm are more delicious. Hunters years ago used to be cutting those palms to obtain the hearts of palm to sale. But now, here in Costa Rica, it's not, it's not permitted to be doing that, to be cutting those palms. 
Not only palms, trees too. It's not permitted to be cutting trees here in Costa Rica, mainly the woody trees. If you cut a woody tree without permission, you can go to jail, by the way. <laughs> Some other aerotrams in some Caribbean islands, like a Jamaica. Mm. In Jamaica, they are having an aerotram too. As I said, it was like a the promoter, the first one constructed. How will be in Jamaica? Maybe is yeah. there is one in Ocho Rios. Do they own that one or? I don't know exactly where it is, mm. but I know there is one in Jamaica. But I know that we are planning on visiting one in in Jamaica and Ocho Rios. Also, we are having a supply here. Even we are having one of the largest cable here in Costa Rica that is like a little more than half a mile the distance from one tower to the other. Because in a few minutes you are going to have use of some other ones, use of the tallest trees that we are having here. What is the variety? Uh, the the one here, the name. Okay. Uh, the one here, the name of the one is Opichaleni. It's an old, it's not hardwood trees. It's a softwood tree. Yeah, there is a softwood tree. It's, it's not a hardwood tree. You saw the water vine before, strong vines, and here to your right you can see some other vines. And you can see that the diameter to the vines, uh, some of the ones are bigger compared to the diameter to the compost on trees around. Call it broccoli trees. Oh, broccoli, oh, broccoli. Yeah. If yeah. you remember the tallest yeah. one that you saw a couple of minutes ago, yeah. that yeah. was a broccoli tree too. Also, do you remember that I was talking about the layers of the forest? Mm -hmm. Well, just right here we are starting to become having views of the, of the emerging layer, the highest points of the forest. You can see that the characteristics of the forest is just starting to be different compared to the first views that we were having before. Also, just right here, I want to invite you to look it down. If you look it down, you can see that it's very dark inside of the forest. Mm -hmm. You don't see inside of the forest, right? Sometimes we can be walking inside of the forest and the amount of light that we can be perceiving can be between 10 and 20%. So, all of the time, the plants are having a lot of light inside of the forest to have the photosynthesis process. So, a big percent of the time, the plants are competing for light. So that's explain why this forest is so dense of plants at the top, mainly because of the light competition that the ones are having. Even remember before, in some places, uh, that the amount of light was totally less compared to the other side, but the other places where we were having more light, remember that wasn't easy to be walking, remember? Mm -hmm. Compared to the other side that was dark, was darkest compared to the area that was open. Uh, no. It's interesting because I don't want to make you afraid, but sometimes we can see a snake on the leaf. <coughs> and frogs too, the tiny, mm -hmm. the, the, the red frog. Red ones, the yeah, the blue ones? Ones? yeah. Yeah, we can have views of the one sometimes inside of the bread. What mountains are those in front of us? Excuse me? What, what, what kind of mountains are, are those in front of us? Oh, well, the one that, you, that is used right to over front, that is a no active volcano, called Cacho Negro. 
Inato? Huh? Inato? Yeah, it's not an active volcano. It is active, is that what you say? No. Well, have been active, but many years ago. Oh. Inactive. Inactive, okay. Colo Cacho Negro. Cacho Negro, yeah. Black Cone, they say. And the fruit here to our right side, this one is called a pachita, and the one is, the ones are eatable. Can you see the one right there to your right? These are called a pachita, and the ones are eatable, and the ones are having like a potato taste. Mm. But not too many people know about this one. to make it into the trees to be falling down. Look at the tree here to your left side again. Look at the trunk of tree here to your left side. But can you see like another trunk that the mm -hmm. one is having? Mm -hmm. That is a parasite plant. You look at the top, the one is having branches. Sorry. The ones are called ficus, and that is a parasite plant. You have seen too many plants having a lot of species of plants covering the trunk, covering the branches. Some of the ones look like a parasite, but all of the ones can be classified as a parasite. Well. Family. Yeah, it is, and, and we're talking that that is something that happened just once a year. As soon as the baby just grow a little bit more, he will have to go and find his own place. Is this and the mother probably will stay around here. Is that the father? Yes, we will see the father again later. So the female is the only one that stays around this area. Mm -hmm. Later, we will see the male, the maiden season. And then sometimes the mother disappear, and when this one come back, it's with the baby. Uh -huh. hmm. Try not to use a flash. Yes, yes, we can let you go. Come. Oh, okay. Okay.